So I figured since I'm doing this cosplay book, I'd do a little tutorial on um, how I make my Luffy hats round because, well, it's really hard to buy a round straw hat that isn't specifically made for Luffy and is the correct size that you want. So what I'm doing right here is this is a pot of water and this is completely filled all the way to the brim with water. And I dunked the hat in um, most of the way. This is actually an Amish hat. Um, that I bought from an Amish store here in, um, Pennsylvania. And it was kind of funny because they actually thought that I was, like, a tourist. Because <laughs> I was buying Amish stuff. So, pretty much you just dunk it in water and you leave it there for a while. This thing was completely square. I have a picture of it, um, before. I'll try to post that then. But it's literally completely flat. You can see right there that it is a square hat. You just let it soak in the water for a bit. Let me resync it here. And after it's done, you'll take it out, and it'll be really, really, like, pliable. Like, just, you can do anything with it, which, I bought another straw hat that I'm actually going to make into the buggy hat that I'm working on. So, just let that soak. And, after it's done soaking and I shape it, well, I'll show you shaping it and stuff, and then I'll get back to you. Well, this is actually on my stove. It's not, don't light it on fire. That's a bad idea. I just don't have any counter space. Alright, be back. Okay, so the hat has been soaking for about five minutes-ish. So I'm going to pull it out of the water slowly because it's keeping a lot of the water in it. It's a relatively waterproof hat for being straw. I will warn you that it kind of smells funny <laughs> when you first pull it out because... I don't know, straw smells funny when it's wet. Um, this is going to be literally sopping. You want to put something down before you do this. Okay, so extra step, put a towel down. And here's the hat. And it's pretty much still very square. And all you do is you just kind of, like, fiddle with it. And it should be relatively pliable at this point. Kind of like... A putty type thing. And a good thing to do with it is see how it's kind of round now? Much more round than before. You can just push up the top, flatten out. And this thing was like extremely square. It was like completely flat. What you can do, excuse my redunculous hair, go take a plastic bag, and this is going to seem kind of silly, but since the hat is really wet, put this in your head. Not like, not like to suffocate yourself, but just so you don't get all wet. And then you kind of just put this on top. But, I mean, your head's a relatively round base to work off of. And then just kind of push it down on all the sides. Make sure this stays relatively rounded, or flat, I should say. <sighs> I'm also going to be doing this with um, for my buggy hat. I'll possibly put that up. Um, and then this should be pretty round. See? And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a square hat round. That is straw. Regular hats will work like this. And then just let it dry, and it'll stay in that shape forever, pretty much. Alrighty. Thanks for watching!